Well, it's been a bit of a glum start for Australian consumers. They've really picked up in 2024 where they left off last year. Sentiment's still deeply pessimistic. Australian households are clearly still very stressed by the cost of living pressures that erupted a couple of years ago. Uh, and it still looks like we're some way off an improvement. Uh, that weak read in January was despite some uh, positive developments, inflation is slowing in Australia. Uh, and it's, there are more signs that we won't see more interest rate hikes going forward. But so far that hasn't been enough to shift the dial on consumer sentiment. From what we can see overseas, particularly in the US, it may take a more material slowdown in inflation into the 3 to 3.5% three range and a clearer signal from the RBA that uh, further rate hikes are, are very unlikely before we do see sentiment lift from here. But even then it could be quite a slow recovery. Uh, the prospect of inflation coming under control, uh, some fiscal and monetary policy easing perhaps in the wind later in this year should give us a bit of support. But a lot of these cost of living pressures will still be with us for years to come. Uh, Australian household disposable income, so incomes after tax, interest and uh, inflation have contracted by nearly 7%. Even with inflation coming under control and even with the stage three tax cuts and some interest rate cuts coming along, it's going to be a slow grinding recovery to regain that lost ground. Uh, the cost of living will still be high relative to incomes uh, for a few years to come. Uh, so while when we look at the situation now it's very dark, there's some prospects of improvement uh, maybe by around the middle of this year we could see that show through in sentiment uh, but beyond that it could be quite a slow grinding recovery for consumers out of this period of stagnation. Uh, so as I said a bit of a gloomy start for the year. There are some positives. We are heading in the right direction around inflation and policy supports uh, but this cost of living crisis could be with us for some time yet. Well, look, many of the themes are very similar to what we saw through most of the last uh, 12 to 18 months, really. So uh, around for consumers, it's all about uh, the cost of living weighing on family finances and uh, time to buy a major household item, both very negative. Uh, they are li less fearful of interest rate rises, but that doesn't look to be doing much to turn the dial on confidence more generally. Around housing, uh, assessments of time to buy are still stuck around uh, long term, around low levels by historical standards, and they've been stuck there now for uh, well over 18 months, uh, quite a long period by historical standards. But around prices, uh, consumers are still expecting house prices to continue rising from here. So it, it is a very similar set of themes to what we saw through most of last year. Um, we're still looking for something to really snap uh, consumers are out of this uh, glum phase of sentiment. Um, that's really going to come back to getting a meaningful and material improvement in the cost of living uh, issues that are at the centre of this weak period of consumer sentiment. Um, that still looks to be three to six months away at least. We should see some improvement in sentiment and in the consumer space over the course of this year, uh, but our concern is that it might be quite slow going and gradual. Consumer sentiment's largely unchanged since our last report, uh, still very weak. But what has changed is the wider backdrop around consumer spending. Uh, the last three months we've seen significantly weaker updates around the national accounts picture on consumer spending. That now looks to be showing spending down over the 12 months uh, to September and per capita terms significantly. Uh, and our Westpac card tracker has also shown this weakness extending into the December quarter and into early January. Uh, now with that weakness becoming more apparent, uh, the RBA will be more uh, wary about what further tightening may do to an already weak consumer. Uh, it's desirable in the sense that it's going to help bring inflation back under control and from the RBA's point of view inflation still is the number one priority uh, but that weaker picture around spending is telling us that further rate rises are probably not necessary as long as we're still tracking quite well with inflation. So look this is still a very challenging environment for Australian consumers very clearly sentiment is under pressure uh, there's a lot of stress on household incomes uh, and the cost of living issues are still front and centre. We are moving in the right direction here. Uh, as inflation comes under control and as the need for further interest rate tightening diminishes and eventually we start to see some policy easing come through, that'll lift sentiment eventually. But at this stage that still looks to be some way off uh, and it's not going to be enough to prevent another challenging year for Australian households. The sentiment numbers are going to improve eventually uh, but it still looks to be a few months away at least. The content of this recording is informational and of general nature only and is not intended to constitute a research report or reflect any recommendation or financial advice. 
It has been prepared without taking into account your objectives, financial situation or needs, and investment decisions should not be based on it. You should obtain your own independent advice before proceeding with any investment decision. Whilst every effort has been taken to ensure that the contents are correct and any opinions, forecasts, conclusions are reasonably held based on information at the date of recording, Westpac does not make any representation or warranty as to the accuracy or completeness of the statements or information contained in this recording, and any liability therefore is expressly disclaimed to the extent permitted by law. None of the material included in this recording should be copied, published or reproduced in whole or in part without the prior written permission of Westpac.